last month on the London Underground, it was a, a young, a young eighteen-year-old Iraqi left a bomb on the, the the underground. He came to the UK illegally uh, three years ago, two years ago, and um, what? N- there are various terrorist attacks. Stockholm earlier in the year, um, one of the Paris attacks, uh, one of the attacks in Germany, uh, which are people who've just arrived in this wave. And the, the, the cause of what I regard as being a form of European depression on this is that it's not just recent arrivals who that's the case. The that most of the people involved in the November 2015 massacres in Paris were born and lived in France and Belgium. So there's a, there's a game that's played by all sides in this of... In fact, you can almost... It's really ugly. You can hear it after every single terrorist attack where there are... Well, there are several things that happen, aren't there? The first thing is that people are almost rooting for their side not to be responsible for the terrorist attack. You think, please, God, just wait and find out who's dead first, you know. Um, but that's the first thing. And then the second thing is, if it is a, uh, an Islamist who's done it, is, is he a new arrival or somebody who was born and brought up here? And uh, the point is, is that it can be both, and that makes the problem even worse, because it says we're clearly failing at something at the level of integration if... You're born in the society. I mean, obviously, this is an issue that goes on in America as well. But, but this is the point: is it means that we, we've not sorted any of it out. We, we don't have the answer to any bit of the problem. 